Come to the bargaining table. <laughs> sit with these people. Do the right thing. But first, State Senator Greg Ball protesting right alongside local Con Ed workers as their union considers the latest offer to end the lockout. News 12's Lisa LaRocca is at the Con Ed Service Center in Valhalla Force this afternoon with more on that show of support and what's next. Lisa. Well, you know, union members, uh, even though there is a new offer on the table from Con Edison, union members really not too happy about it. They say uh, it's just smoke and mirrors of what Con Ed is offering. In the meantime, though, you can see behind me, you have workers uh, lined up having lunch, uh, the courtesy of State Senator Greg Ball, who came out today to give his support. They abandoned the people that needed them to bring these people here to do our jobs. That's a disgrace. Con Ed union workers took advantage of a visit from Hudson Valley State Senator Greg Ball to air their grievances today. The Republican brought lunch and his support for the workers who have been walking the picket line 24 hours a day since contract negotiations broke down and a lockout began back on June 30th. The senator says he believes the union workers have a legitimate gripe with the power company. We have a multi-billion dollar utility, refuses to be held accountable. Uh, they're pitting ratepayers versus the laborers which is ridiculous. They, they made over a billion dollars last year. Health care and pension benefits are the biggest sticking points in the negotiations. Con Ed offered a new deal on Tuesday that includes a 10% wage increase over the next four years, but workers say it's all a smokescreen. We're going we're gonna to pay more for medical and we're going to lose things and it's, the, the raise won't even keep up with that. We're going to go backwards with what's on the table right now. Meantime, Senator Ball says he hopes by coming to the picket lines it will pressure more Albany lawmakers to get involved. And I think as a Republican state senator in the majority coming out here today, it's going to raise some eyebrows and I hope some Democrats at the highest of levels will wake up and force management to do the right thing by these blue collar people. Now, you know, we've been out here a couple of days and what I'm hearing from these union workers is they're saying, look, you know, we know times have changed. We're more than willing to make contributions to our health care, to pension. They're saying the, the problem is that Con Edison, they feel, is constantly making money. It's not a company that's in trouble. So their feeling is we shouldn't have to uh, give up all that Con Ed is asking us to give up. Now, in the meantime, the two sides are set to meet again today to look at that offer from uh, Con Edison. But again, union officials uh, not really too happy with it. Of course, we'll keep you up to date on how it's all going. We're in Valhalla. Let's go back to the